Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here, and today we're going to make and test some wax pad fire starters. Okay, so what we'll need is a supply of cotton pads, some wax, a metal container to melt the wax in, a pair of tweezers to lift the cotton pads in and out of the wax, a sheet of cardboard or something else to dry these on, and of course a source of heat to melt the wax. So let's get started. I'm going to melt this wax down and then we'll come back to you once I'm ready to dip the pads. Okay, so now that the wax is melted, what we can do is we can take these cotton pads, put them in there one at a time, and lift them up with a pair of tweezers. Just make sure that they're well coated on both sides. Oops. Now the wax is hot, so you have to really be careful about it. Now you can probably find thousands of videos on YouTube making these. But since I was making some anyway, I figured I'd make a video. Why not? These will be going into my new fire kit. Yeah, I think I have enough wax for one more. I'm just going to take that off the heat because I don't want to scorch the bottom of the pan more than I have to. Longer tweezers would be better. These ones are already quite hot from touching the wax. There. So now all we have to do is let those dry. And then I can store them in this shoe polish container. Okay, so now that those pads have dried, let's prepare one and light it up and we'll see how long it burns. Okay, so I've broken it up a little bit just to expose the fibers. And we're going to see how long it's going to burn. Okay, so there it started. Took a little bit to get it lit, but once it's going, it's going. It's quite windy as you can see. Might even end up blowing it out, I don't know. Over. 
Coming on to a minute now. There's a minute, and there's still lots left. So if you were to put this underneath some tinder, even if it was wet tinder, it would be burning long enough to let it dry out and then eventually catch flame. So that's a good flame there. You know, it's like seven or eight inches tall. Oh, and the wind's not blowing it. Try to dance, it wasn't so cool. But as you can see, the wax slows down the burn of the cotton pad. Coming on to three minutes now, and there's still quite a bit of the pad left. Anyway, I thought that the round shoe polish container would be a good container to store these in, and because it's basically the same size and shape. And it'll hold probably four, maybe five of them. Coming on to six minutes now. The flame is dying down, but it's still giving off a good amount of heat. I think my wind is going to blow it out. Yep, there it goes. Actually, it's still burning. Still lit. Okay, now we're coming on to seven minutes. And it's pretty much out. A little bit of a flame, residual flame there. So we're going to call that out. And it's seven and a half minutes. So, as you saw, they're easy to make, uh, inexpensive to make, and they burn for approximately seven minutes. So do they deserve a place in your fire kit? I'll let you be the judge. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out.
more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.